Ladies and gentlemen, the cane is here. We have the Nazis, uh, Nazis reveal. New keywords, slay. You get credit for slaying an ally or enemy if one of your cards kills it by a damage strike or direct kill effect. Uh, six mana two two with fearsome. I have plus one plus one for each unit you slay in this game. So obviously this can happen while Nazis is not on the field. As you've slain enemies, slay gets buffed. Let's get it. Ooh, decay. The Kai Reaper. So one mana is one two with uh, when you slay a unit, grant me plus one. Reasonable card. I mean, it's something that can scale into the late game or can be played alternatively on turn one. Uh, pretty decent card for a slay synergistic deck. So killing an ally. So cards like Ravenous Butcher, I see the examples they use here. Nice one. Just pretty much any units dying via combat or interaction will be a buff to slay. Okay. Siphoning Strike. Five mana, slow speed spell. An ally strikes a unit. If it dies, grant allied champions everywhere. Plus two, plus two. Uh, so it's like a concerted strike, except for if your ally, if it kills the unit, you'll grant all of your champions plus two, plus two. Uh, at first glance, seems pretty underwhelming, even though it's a permanent grant. Does work pretty well with the Nazis itself. That might be his signature spell. Look at these level up animations. Nazis is ascent. Uh, six mana, three, three with spell shield. I didn't check if the pre version had spell shield, but I have plus one, plus one. Enemies have minus one. So while Nazis is on the field, enemies strictly just have minus one attack. And then obviously to get to level three, we need to ascend the sun disc. No, I don't think the pre Nazis had spell shield. Mortals are ruined, <laughs> ruled by fear. I mean, makes sense for Nas, Nazis, right? Flavor, flavor wise, he's, he's getting the stacks. You know, he's decaying. Of course. The sun disc, here we go. Let's see it. Oh boy. <laughs> Six mana, 10, 10. Uh, enemies have minus three. Okay. I think Renekton's level three ascension is already strictly a little bit better because Nazis already has like that inbuilt scaling. But if you add your slain buff on top of this, you realistically probably want to get overwhelmed onto Nazis some way or you get atrocity it alternatively. But yeah, this is going to be a thick boy. Thick boy. Okay, what do you guys think of that one? That seems cool. That seems cool, that seems cool. I'm hearing ya. Let's go through the rest of the cards that were revealed for us today. Can I even open this up? I can always just zoom in, can't I? That should work just as effectively. So we saw Nazis, we saw Nazis, Nazis level two, Nazis level three. Uh, we saw the Nazis' siphoning strike, so as I kind of predicted, that is his signature spell. Uh, we'll come back to Nazis later. Let's see some of the other new cards we might have to work with. We saw the Bakai Reaper already. Rampaging Bakai, overwhelm play. If you've slain four plus units this game, an enemy and I strike each other for the play effect. So if you've slain four plus units, uh, typically this will most likely be happening on curve. So you can oftentimes think of this as a five mana, four, six, an enemy and I strike each other. I guess that's okay. You get to choose chump blockers, good for chump blockers, uh, but pretty average card. Uh, nothing too ridiculous going on here. It does have everyone built into its kit. 
uh, you have the skill right next to it. It can't be denied. The Satan Conservator. This is one of the first images we ever saw uh, for the Runeterra kind of previews. So this is an 8 mana A5 with Fearsome. Play if you've slain 13 plus units this game. Kill all enemy followers, then summon a copy of me. That's rather interesting because that's quite a powerful effect. There's not many effects like we haven't seen quite a follower like this and it's an epic. So by turn eight, th slain 13 units. So you've killed 13 units. You've traded into 13 units, sacrificed. Like, I mean, already the slay effect is probably going to be pairing up with Shadow Wilds quite well for pretty straightforward synergy. Um, in terms of like being able to slay units consistently, like your opponent can't just ignore you forever. So if you're attacking them, they kind of have to force you to be buffing your slay. So, but 13 plus by turn eight, I don't think this actually always is gaining the play effect on curve. You never want to play this without the play effect. You'd have to be in a very desperate position to do it. You're only going to be killing all enemy followers where uh, champions typically are kind of threatening at this point in the game. There's not many specific followers. I just see this being strictly pretty good for like as a board clear. A board clear with tempo because you provide a body as well. You summon two copies of it too. Um, so with a deck built pretty uh, well enough around Slay and its mechanics, then this is going to be actually a reasonable card. It really depends whether or not this whole Slay thing archetype is good enough. I don't think you build, I don't think you're purposely building a Slay deck. You might be adding in some extra cards, but what I mean to say is like, if the Slay cards are decent enough and your deck is kind of revolved around it, then I don't see why Sanctum Conservator wouldn't be a decent card. However, I'll leave it. I'll leave that to you guys. Like, what do you think about this card? Because epics typically do tend to be rather average in Legends of Runeterra. Let's continue on. Spiritfire, seven mana burst speed spell. Give enemies minus two and round end deal two to me this round. At the burst speed, Spiritfire is quite an interesting card. It's a more expensive version of Avalanche. It's like Troll Chan and Avalanche put into one. Um, give enemies specifically. Hmm. It's actually not a bad anti-aggro card. It's actually good removal against some faster decks. Like this card itself actually is rather insane against Burblefish, right? Like Burble, think about Burble decks, how much this kind of slows them down, like full on. Like you kind of, because it's burst speed, it's like, it's crazy actually for this to be at burst speed. But it's kind of like hard removal at burst speed, if you think about it, but it's not happening straight away. We haven't really seen removal at this kind of spell speed. So that's interesting to think about. Uh, but I think this card's actually reasonable and I think it will see play. Uh, it's very good removal, uh, specifically against swarm decks So. Right of Calling is a zero mana slow speed spell. Kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to draw a champion. Okay, this card seems good, but I th well, hang on, hang on. At first glance, in my head, it seems good, but I think it works better for the more slay specific archetypes. So if you're trying to build around destroying your units, I don't think you want to be destroying your mana this early in the game like you'll probably draw your champion before right of calling is really that good so maybe on second thought this card is not actually that good unless we're playing it in some sort of like undying curse keeper deck then it's kind of interesting but yeah other than that not too much uh, so it's pretty good for Nazis specifically not so much the other champions depending on what, what Azir does the Weight of Judgment is a 4 mana slow speed spell. Deal 2 to a champion or 7 to a follower. That's interesting removal. Very strong against followers. 4 mana deal 7 to a follower. That's actually very good. And it can deal 2 to a champion though. So this hits, this hits some champions pretty good. Like this is pretty good against like Twisted Fate I guess. It's a very bad Mystic Shot at slow speed. 
um, dealing seven to a follower. I guess this flexibility is why it's mana cost is this much, but like if there's ever popular decks running around that just have very strong followers, then this card's kind of insane. I don't think you'd just be running this for its flexibility on purpose. I think you'd want to be running this card in a deck or in a meta game where there's really strong followers running around, then this card makes a lot more sense, not specifically for its flexibility. So like, obviously its flexibility is good, but only like if that meta has the followers and then you play this specifically for the followers and it sometimes hits, hits good value against the champions, I wouldn't be playing this just because uh, the Ruinous Path, draw one at slow speed. If you've slain a unit this round, drain two from the enemy Nexus. Seems like a reasonable card. I mean, nothing too crazy. I actually don't think you have a main deck this. It's just kind of too low value. It's two mana draw one, right? It's a cycle card. You can compare it to like Guiding Touch, etc. Except if you have slain a unit, you get a little bit more synergy there for being able to drain two from the enemy Nexus. Mini Smork, mini heal. Um, like if there's ever a deck that makes sense for this card, it's it's that same deck that's probably playing Rite of Calling. So yeah. So there might be some sort of like Curse Keeper deck as I kind of showed off in the example video, but I don't really see that currently being the most effective strategy. Uh, and in general, we'll come back around to Narsus. I think this whole Slay it mechanic is interesting. It could be like an actual dedicated champion to Undying archetypes because Undying in the past hasn't really had like a go-to champion for that list. It was always kind of just like sometimes better just not to run champions so you could fill the deck with better uh, better cards because the champions were kind of underwhelming. But Narsus does make a lot of sense for that kind of archetype. So that's my first impressions on Narsus. He gets Spell Shield when he gets to level uh, Ascends, uh, Ascends to level 2 as well, which is very interesting. So uh, he'll... You can strike and then gain. Like you can kind of like single combat or concerted strike on the stack to kind of flip Narsus sometimes and play around removal. So that's kind of an interesting little mechanic there. But as I said earlier, what do you guys think? Let me know. Have a good night. I'll see you soon.